TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are live, but by the time you see this, we won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your personal notification bells, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, right behind me, you see it, probably unnecessary, but you see it, the warning screen, uh, don't forget man, twitch.com, that's where you can catch any of the lives, the username is at the bottom of the screen, we also got a Patreon, where we watch everything that we can't watch. On YouTube, Monday through Friday, and we also got merch. This is the UK's most dangerous city at night. Delivery rider POV. It's, this is London Hustle. This is his channel. Salute to London Hustle, man, for bringing the great content for me to react to. <laughs> they get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, then my name is London Hustle and you might recognize where we are today. One of the most- How you doing London Hustle? I do not know where we are. Dangerous voted cities in the UK, and that is Coventry. Now we've been here before in videos, but when I was here in the past, we didn't do too well with orders. And a lot of you in the comments were telling me to- Looks really nice. Look at the architect. Videos, but when I was here- Right here is what I mean. In the past, we didn't do too well with orders. And a lot of you in the comments Shoe were telling store. me to come back here at night. Coming to one of the UK's most dangerous cities at night would make quite an interesting video. So here we are. Also, big shout out to 10 Ways for letting me ride their bike today. This is the 10 Ways CGO 800S. And this bike is jam packed full of features, which I'll tell you about later on. Is it electric? In today's video. But for now, let's go get ourselves a order. We're getting ourselves our first order come in from Wagamama's. That is very far away though. It's paying £5.42. Did we do that to start off the video? I mean, look how many drivers are stood right in front of me. What's Wagamama's? <laughs> it sounds crazy. Go on, let's do it. Let's start off the video strong with a Wagamama's order. So the time is currently 25 minutes past five. So we've probably got about half an hour until dinner time actually starts, which is why I think there's a lot of riders just sitting around right now. So we got quite lucky to get ourselves an order. Let's go pick it up. Hi hey, mate, you're right, 2598. I'm not gonna lie, by the entry, it doesn't look like somewhere I'm eating. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Wagamamas. So something pretty cool about this bike is, look, when we power it on right now, it then requires you to input a password to be able to turn it on, which is amazing for deliveries because... That's great for London because or, or the UK because people in the UK really be stealing bikes. Like, that is a... That is a... <laughs> that is something my ancestors have did. Uh, but like stealing bikes is crazy in 2024. If I go into a restaurant and I'm picking up an order, it's only going to take me a couple minutes and I don't need to faff around locking up the bike. Obviously, you should probably lock up the bike, but when you can see it from the window, you don't really want to spend all that time locking it up. And by having a password on there, it means no one else can turn it on and ride away. I mean, even if you're not doing deliveries and you're just stopping to get yourself a coffee, it's just a really nice feature. To 100% I'm still locking up the bike. I don't trust it. I know some athletes that have picked that bike up and run with it. You know so our saying? first customer of this evening is 3.7 miles away. It's going to take us about 20 minutes, which is not too bad actually, considering this is paying over £5. I'm pretty happy with that. It's quite dead right now. So we'll be able to get this dropped off and head back for the dinner time rush to start. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Pedaling this bike off London. Dropping this food on Dunder. 10 pound company. This customer lives at the top of the hill, which is pretty fun. I'm very happy we've got a bit of electric behind us. Hi, are you right? Do you have the code, please? 96. Thank you. There you are. Enjoy. Ooh. You got it? Have a good evening. Have a good evening, ma'am. Hope you enjoy your... What was it? Mother lovers? What was it? All right, first delivery in Coventry complete. Oh, and look at this. The map's now gone green, which means there's a multiplier on. Only a 1.1 times multiplier, but it's better than nothing. I am so far from the city centre. Whenever I don't know where I am, 
I just go straight to Google and search for McDonald's and then try zoom into the one that looks like it's in the center, which is here. 20 minutes is gonna tell me. Now, when I told you guys earlier, 20 minutes, oh, that's not too bad. I'm used to 20 minutes in London and 20 minutes in London is nothing. It's a few streets, a few corners and you're there. 20 minutes in another city like this, it's very far, it is very far. But it was a really fun ride over here. I mean, we're absolutely flying right now down here. Ten ways bikes are so light. It's like riding on a feather. Something that's pretty- I ain't rode a bike in so long. I don't even know if I remember. Pretty cool about this model is the screen on here. I've never seen a screen like this before. This screen is actually integrated into the handlebar system. So you don't attach it separately, it's actually part of it. And you can do so many things with it. Ten Ways has an app which you can use as GPS. Obviously I'm a delivery driver, so I need to have my phone on here for when orders pop up. But if I was just going to the shops or going to meet a friend and I needed to get somewhere and have GPS up, you can- Imagine doing this on the, in the south side of Chicago, the west side of Chicago, the east side of Chicago. Maybe you could get away with it on the north side with like, there's some sketchy areas in the north side too, like Drake City, like nah, man, you, nah, you couldn't pay me to do this job. Like if I was to stay like in a downtown area, cool, but like, uh-uh. Sync it up to the bike, so you don't need to worry about having I'm your- I'm not gonna consistently get robbed for my little orders. Phone you know mounted on the handlebars. It will show you the GPS on this screen, which is incredible. I've never experienced an e-bike that can do that. And I think it's genius. Like why would you not have that? in the screen on an e-bike another order comes through but that looks really far as well and it's away from the city center so i'm gonna reject that one it's now gone up to a 1.3 times multiplier as well which is quite nice that basically means we're gonna get paid 30 percent extra than we usually would huge order coming through eight pound 86 but that distance is crazy that's more of a moped order. Don't really want to be doing that on a bike, especially when we're on a 1.3 times multiplayer. This is where those short orders, you can make a lot of money. Well, Coventry definitely feels a little bit sketchier at night. From Wagon was for 377. However, for that distance, I would definitely be expecting more while we're on a 1.3 times multiplier. So I'm going to decline it in hopes of something a little bit better. My God, look at this now. <laughs> 46 but the distance is too far for me i don't oh, they got you going boy they, man listen they got you trying to do a whole little leg workout out i here. think that's worth it at that distance huh? man it's a shame but it's a positive sign that a lot of orders are coming through and it's only just hit six o'clock as well so we can <laughs> like don't nobody want to travel over here huh afford to be picky when it's this busy again seven look pounds. at this seven pound 54 this time that looks short these are the two dots we looking at Let's take a closer look at this order. This one might be worth it. Yeah, that's close. Are they both picking up from the same place? I believe they are. Right, let's do yeah, it. Let's and it's do only that. down the road as well. We're picking up from Outfry, which is a Korean fried chicken place. Okay, Outfry, Korean fried chicken be fire. Oh, it's only one order now. That's a little bit concerning. Hi mate, you're right. I've got 9178. About five minutes. No worries. We'll wait for this one. It's a decent paying order. And while we're waiting, we can take a little look at the bike. Excuse that it's a little bit muddy after that first order we did, but this thing is beautiful. What time is it? Beautiful. They sent me out the blue colorway. And one of the things I love about 10 ways bikes is the very few- Wait, you get to keep the bike? Is this a sponsored video? Few welding spots. You can see this whole frame here is one solid piece of metal, which is very rare to see on bikes. They have put so much thought and design into this. Now this company originates out of Amsterdam, I believe in the Netherlands, and they are known for their bikes. So I wouldn't expect anything less from these guys. They seem to have upgraded the pedals here. There's like a, I don't really know how. I ain't never heard nobody talk this passionately about a bike. I was to describe it, but grip tape. It's like grip tape you get on a skateboard in the middle, which gives you a bit more traction. You can tell there's a lot of attention and detail into this bike. Yeah, that's me. There we go. Thank you, mate. All right, I'm picking up. Oh, is this Franzo's as well? Yeah. It is, yeah, okay. 318, awesome. Oh, uh, have y'all ever been to one of those restaurants where it's like another restaurant inside of a restaurant? Like they have Olive Garden serving you chicken wings, that's tough. Yes, thank you. Or a pasta place, I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, okay, 318, awesome. Yes, thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> right, that makes so much sense now. So what's happened there is that, that restaurant essentially operates multiple different restaurants. Kind of like how a ghost kitchen works. So there'll be four, five, six. Yeah, that's what it's called, a ghost kitchen. 
I feel like that's false advertising. Different companies all operating out of that one kitchen. Usually when that's the case, it's all very similar food, but each restaurant will just call them different names. But that was good news for me because both the orders are from the same place and we didn't have to wait too long. It's about six, seven minutes in total, but it is a nice pay in order. And the first customer is only six minutes away. Now it is a little bit sketchy riding in a new city at night especially when i don't really know where i'm going so this bike has a 250 watt motor on the back now i forgot the brand name of the actual motor i'll put it up on screen now it's a brand i'm not very familiar with but looking at the back wheel the motor is very small and i'm guessing that's how they've managed to cut a lot of the weight by going with this brand now the battery on this listen i can guarantee you 100 percent that i'm not doing it <laughs> you're a brave man this is something i, I don't care what city i'm in I ain't riding no bicycle. Not at night. Like, I want a bike, but not to ride at night. You know what I'm saying? Bike is 36 volts, 10.4 amp hours, which is quite a small battery. They claim this bike can do up to 100 kilometers in range, but I do have my doubts with that. I mean, you'd have to be in the most perfect circumstances and a very light rider to achieve those type of numbers. And I'd also be riding in the lowest setting, which is pedal assist level one. I'd say if you are going to use this bike to work and do things like deliveries, it's probably best to get two batteries so you can swap between. While you're out riding, you can have the other one on charge. This battery sits here in the down tube and it's very easy to take on and off with a key. But if you're just doing light rides or commuting to work, then I think just one battery would be sufficient. Oh, amazing, guys. Look at this. We've got a two pack. I thought you just hooked them up to like a USB, but it's more like a camera type. Switch out the battery type. That's, that's convenient. On tip on this order. Hey, are you right? There you go. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? Eight nine. Thank you so much. Thank you for the. Where is he? Do where is he at? Benefit Street. Salute, because I just see a lot. A lot of stuff is just clicking to me right now. Hold on now. First of all, hey. the state of the door is crazy. It looked like a storefront. Hey, you're right. Hey, you're right. Oh. There you go. Second of all, where is your bed frame at, ma'am? Is this a studio apartment where the front door just... You might have just moved there. My fault. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? Eight nine. Thank you so much. Thank you for the tip, by the way. Thank you. Like, over nine pounds for this order. And the second customer is only 13 minutes away. So all in all, it's probably going to take me less than 20 minutes to get to the customers. We probably waited about seven minutes at the restaurant. Ten pounds for about half an hour's work. I'm very happy with that. Get some speed down here. It's not bad. So, this bike is limited to 15.5 miles an hour with the motor engaged. However, you can use your own leg power to get beyond that. Right now, we just got up to 22 miles an hour. The bike is so light that if you just put in a little bit of effort, you absolutely fly, which is so nice, so refreshing. A lot of the e-bikes that I try out are usually quite heavy, and my legs are loving this right now. Girl is on the highway. What the heck? On the e-way. Motorway. I mean, you're right. There you are. Do you have the? <laughs> hey, bro, didn't even. Bro, look, look at bro's shadow at the door. This be me right here. Don't let me call no Uber Eats or Grubhub or anything of that nature. I'm at the door waiting. I'm in the map like this, bro. What is dude doing? It's a left. Why would he make a right? <laughs> I'm calling customer support like, bro, he going the wrong way. He got multiple orders, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you're right. There you are. The robe is insane. He was inside gaming it. Do you have the code, please? 68. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, what a pleasant chap he was. That was a lovely little order there. We got a tip on the first one and a very pleasant customer on the second. If you go ahead and check our earnings, we're now up to £14.96. The time has just hit half six. When I was riding here, we went... So £14 an hour. And he denied about 32, 32 options. Past the little shopping center. I saw a McDonald's, a Subway, and a couple of other places, I think. So I'm gonna head back in that direction. Fingers crossed we'll get an order from one of them. The standard suite center, which looks about five minutes away from me. But then we're gonna have to go back the opposite way. That distance for just five pound doesn't seem worth it right now, especially when you consider it we're far. in the middle of dinner time and there's a multiplier on. I think we can do a little bit better than that. 
Ooh, look at this. We're getting another order come through from Nando's 777. Nando's? Okay, somebody ordered that Perry Perry, huh? Okay. Three. Where is this going? The first customer's relatively close, but oh my God, that second customer. Where's that? Bedworth. I'm pretty sure Bedworth is a completely different city. Do I want to do that? I'm going to do it just for the video. It's going to be your last delivery, ain't it? I already know. To see if it's worth it. I'm not sure that it is. Let's go find out. They got a door or not? What is this? Somebody... Oh. Know, you're right. Got right. two orders. Uh, both of them aren't ready yet. Do you so know how long they're, they're going to be, roughly? It'll be about five minutes. Maybe. Yeah? Okay, no worries. Five minutes. Is that worth waiting for? I'm not so sure. Let's... I, I would have cancelled it. Because you're already skeptical, like, of the distance. So what makes it worth it at that point? See what they've gone for. The first customer's gone for a double chicken wrap with peri salted chips and corn on the cob. And then they've also gone for a double chicken wrap, but on its own. And the second customer has gone for, ooh, this is a good order. I rate this customer. What is it? What Alumi is it? sticks with dip, a butterfly burger with peri salted chips and garlic bread. And then they've also gone for a butterfly burger with peri salted chips and a garlic bread. So two of those. That's a very nice order. I need to scan the... I thought you put it on the front of the bag. Oh, there's one more one lane first. Oh, no worries. Sorry, mate, this thing's a nightmare. <laughs> it's all good, mate. Doesn't want to do it. Um, this is a very polite interaction. Go for the one Which one? The that one there, is it? Yeah, boy. There we go. Thank oh, you. Got, you Got there in the end. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Safe, bro. Catch in a bit, yeah? See ya. <laughs> oh, we got there in the end. That whole scanning system proved to be a little bit difficult there because I was trying to scan just the number instead of the number that had the hashtag with it. Every day is a school day though. Learn something new there. But it's a little bit of a faff if you've got two orders because when you go to scan, it tells you which one it wants you to do first. You can't just choose yourself. I can imagine when things get quite busy that that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But the guy who worked there was sound. Now we've got to make our way to the first. Do y'all got kosher subways there in the UK? Kosher subways. Like, I'm not going to explain what kosher is. You should know it if you're an adult or you pay attention in school. Kosher subways. If y'all got kosher subways and it's in relatively close distance to your regular subway you go to, go to the kosher one. That kosher subway hit. I'm telling you, the ingredients be just like they picked it yesterday. That's a customer who's just seven minutes away. This is the nice one. The second customer looks like they are very far. All right, let's go get it delivered. It's Coventry City Stadium. We went past here last time. This is insane. Nah, not doing it. But it looks a lot different at night. It looks a lot more eerie. It is a huge stadium though. It's pretty cool coming to different cities though and getting to see all the different areas. I know we've come to Coventry before, but driving during the day compared to at night is like yin and yang. It's, it's polar opposites. God, where on earth is this taking me? I keep thinking I'm gonna see a police interceptor at some point. Where this are you going? So Wait a minute. Park down here. You guys probably aren't really going to see much on the camera. Oh, I don't like the fact that the delivery's down here. We're in the, one of the UK's most dangerous cities right now. In a very dark. Here, the man them waiting for you. Park secluded road. This is. Okay, here we go. We're getting this around. This is real, real sketch, man. Some houses now. Customers Salute quite close as well. So I'm guessing it's going to be one of these. <laughs> I mate, you're right. 59. Thank you so much. Enjoy your food. You too. See ya. Bro, just answer the door in his drawers. Oh, he was a pretty happy chap, wasn't he? Came to the door in his boxes. All right, how far is this Crazy. next customer? Woohoo! The furthest one of the night, 4.2 miles. I'm saying it's only going to take 22 minutes, which is, I believe, the same time it took to do that first order. But we did have to drive for a park and a lot of little roads. <laughs> on that last order which slowed us down so i'm guessing this is going to be a lot of open roads which would be quite nice exactly what this bike was designed for we're delivering from one city to another you can't cut through what is is am i tweaking ain't this up and then down this road i'm trying to no nah, i'm not cutting through these woods my bad you got it. city which some which is something i have never done right. before it is so quiet around here though i think i'm just so used to london where it doesn't matter what time it is there's always someone about that's very strange to see streets like this that are just deserted and it's not even that late it's only just gone seven o'clock but i guess in smaller towns and cities oh, it looks like it's 2 a.m out there as soon as you get past six when people have gone home from work there's not really much of a reason for them to come back out so it stays quiet well look we're going around the back side of the stadium here oh, there's a casino there as well a casino in the stadium oh so y'all do got casinos and a hotel 
Oh my God, the stadium has it all. Is that a bar over there as well? I think it is. To be fair, Coventry Stadium is absolutely massive. Right, where are we going? It wants me to go down here. Oh, this looks very dark. I'm not sure. Anything I'm... next to all of these type of, you know what I'm saying, foliage, it's always going to be suspect to me. I just don't trust that type of energy. Fan of this. Right, this looks very sketchy. I'll buy some sort of warehouse here. Where am I going? Wait, you see want... what I'm talking about? I need to go. Are you kidding me? Up the stairs? What oh, you doing? I gotta go up some stairs. I've been raving on about it all video how light it is. <laughs> and this is the exact scenario where that. Bro, no. See, this is where we get a little bit sketchy. What? What is going on? It's very useful. Oh my god! Look how dark this bridge is. This does not look safe. This is how a horror movie starts, isn't it? Oh what? God, it is. I thought. <laughs> Great idea for a horror movie, by the way. Delivery driver on his way to a delivery and then gets murdered along the way. My God, where are we going? Down some steps now. What is this? No, that is, is that a forest? Oh, this does not look safe. This is so sketchy. I can hardly see a thing. Thank you, mate. Who was that? I can hardly see a thing. Thank you, mate. Trust it. Okay, we're on a canal, but it's very hard to see, even with the lights on. The last thing I'd want is to fall into a canal. And looking at the map, oh my god, we are following this canal. No, I don't trust trees. No, I do not. For quite some time. Guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, then. I told y'all I don't like nature, so why would I trust trees? Trees are nature. <laughs> Please drop a like down below. Stuff being trees in America not already hit that subscribe button i seem to always get myself in some type of predicament and come into a new city okay so i've come off the canal and i think i've found an alternative route to get up to bedworth it looks like it's one pretty continuous road all the way but i don't want to be driving down a pitch black canal and i'm not familiar with the area so they're going to go this way instead oh it's actually saying this is going to be about the similar time which is good news for me this is exactly what this bike was designed for riding on the roads like this let's go get it delivered Ah, we seen some police. There it is. Riding on the roads like this. Let's go get it delivered. That's probably Lisa. Hi, are you right? There you are. Yeah. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? 57. Thank you. Have a good night. Wow. Nah, I just wanted to see what she had ordered. Yeah. You're welcome. Do you have the code, please? 57. Thank you. Have a good night. Wow, what a journey that was to get to that Interesting. customer. That was so far away. But we got the order dropped off, which is the main thing. And we are now up to 22 pound and 69 pence. We are time? running low on battery on the bike right now. I only started with about 70%. So I obviously had to drive from my place in London to the train station and then from the train station to my hotel. And then I started delivering. So we didn't start at 100 percent my hotel is all the way back in coventry so i'm gonna have to do that journey all the way back unless i get an order come through that takes me back towards my hotel then that doubtful man tell leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post notification bells that wasn't that dangerous but i wouldn't be trusting nobody's forest or trees or creeks or lakes or anything like that i'm gone